Hi everyone, welcome to week 18 of Nutrition Bites. So this week we are going to be focusing on cooking with greens. So some tips and tricks and then some of my favorite recipes. All right, so first we'll talk about the benefits of greens, then a little bit about getting to know our greens, how to wash and prep the greens, ways to use them, some cooking tips, favorite recipes, and then the weekly challenge. Okay, so benefits of greens. There are so many. They are such a nutrient-dense food. This means that they're very low in calories, but high in nutrients. So they're a great source of insoluble fiber. They're packed with vitamins like vitamins A, C, E, K, and B. They're also packed with minerals, including iron, magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Uh, dark leafy green vegetables contain a compound called nitrate, which is a compound that can help to lower blood pressure. Um, and they also contain antioxidants and are considered to be an anti-inflammatory food. So lots of great reasons to include greens in your diet. All right, so there's lots of greens that are available. Um, these are just some of the most popular ones and some ways that you can use them. So spinach, this has a mild flavor. It's very versatile and can be enjoyed raw or cooked. Uh, kale also has a wide variety of uses. However, it does have a more bitter taste, um, but this taste does mellow out when you cook it. Um, you can also eat it raw, but I recommend massaging it with a little olive oil or using a softer variety. Collard greens, these are very dense and very bitter, so they, they are best if you cook them. Uh, Swiss chard, this is a very sweet and crisp green. Mustard greens are the spiciest green. Um, arugula has a very peppery flavor and it can be very flavorful on its own with just some lemon juice and olive oil. Um, and then bok choy can also be enjoyed cooked or raw. All right, so the first step um, is pretty much the most important step in this is to wash and prep your greens. I don't know about you, but if I buy greens and I don't do anything with them, they can tend to sit in my fridge for longer than I hope for. So wash and prep your greens so that you can use them whenever you are ready to. So first, remove any leaves that are starting to go bad. Um, you can chop your greens at this point if desired. And then you want to submerge them in cold, clean water for about five minutes. So you can make sure your sink is clean, fill with cold water, and just kind of submerge those leaves in the water, kind of let them sit. Um, and then let them completely dry before storing them in the refrigerator. So once they've dried, you can let them air dry on like some paper towels. Um, store them in a container that is lined with paper towel just to soak up any extra moisture. And if you've done all this and you find that you still can't use them fast enough, go ahead and just throw them in the freezer and you can add them to soups or smoothies in the future. All right, tons of ways to use your greens. These are just some ideas off the top of my head. Salads, power bowls, smoothies, tofu scrambles. You can use it as a pizza topping, sandwiches, burritos, lettuce wraps like the picture shown here, soups, stir fry, kale chips. You can saute them, you can blend them into sauces, or you can make pesto. All right, so here are a few cooking tips. Like I said, a lot of these greens can be enjoyed raw, but if you decide you want to cook them, here are just a few tips um, to make them taste a little better. So blanch greens to remove some of the bitter flavors, and this means um, submerging them in boiling water for just a minute or two and then quickly submerging them in ice cold water right after. Um, this helps them not to get too soggy. Um, I recommend using lots of seasonings to add flavor. You can also use low sodium vegetable broth to cook your greens instead of water, and this will add more flavor. Um, and it's very important to not overcook them because then they will become very mushy. Uh, most greens only need to cook for a minute or two. Um, and then alternatively, if you want to save time, you can use a microwave um, or you can steam your greens as well. All right, so here are some of my favorite recipes with greens. So kale pesto, um, lettuce wraps, and collard greens. So um, I'll be linking the recipes for each of these in the article version of this as well. All right, uh, this week I want to challenge you to try to use a different type of greens. We often get into the same routine and just use one thing. Maybe it's romaine lettuce, maybe it's spinach, but I wanna encourage you to mix it up and maybe try something new. Uh, see if you can find some ways to enjoy it. That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.